Hello, my name is Christian Walter from Trade Wola, and today I would like to present you some easy order things, um, or order setups with uh, the Trader Workstation from Interactive Broker. Um, because many people in the beginning they might have a few problems how to place an order. There are so many different ways how to place an order. Most important thing is uh, for the beginning, I think, just to select the right um, stock. You have normally here, this is the mosaic version of um, the trailer workstation. You can also do it in the classic version or any other um, layouts um, where you can find here, for example, the an example for a watch list. And I would like to go, at the moment we have Apple, let's have a look for American Airline. This is um, the stock for or like a chart for American Airline. So now there are many ways how to place an order. Most probably you would like to do it here or I would like, I would recommend here this order entry window. If you can't see this order entry window, then the easiest way is here to click on new window. And you, see, you can see all um, entry tools here, for example, the order entry, you can open this as a separate window if you want to have it, maybe not in this mosaic version, you can also open it in a, on a separate um, screen, on a separate um, desktop if you would like to do so. And there are many other um, ways to open also um, or to place an order like Book Trader. You have here all general tools and under all general tools you have for example order entry. You can even place a trade in a chart. But I think for the beginning, it might be really the best and the easiest for you to use here the order entry window. In the standard mosaic version, like I said, it's included. You can also change here the setup a little bit, but it's pretty simple. You have, for example, buy and sell. Of course, you need to decide if you want to buy a position or if you want to um, place a short position. Um, that's the first thing. Here you have to select the symbol itself and then we have the two very important things, sorry, the two very important things here with quantity where you have to select the quantity which you want to um, place in the order and here which order type. For the order type I would like to show you everything what is available. Here we have um, standard limit order, we have market order, we have trailing stop orders and if you go a little bit um, more down you will also find stop, stop limit order. So this is the first thing what you need to select. For example, if you want to trade a breakout, um, we can do it here for Apple. I can say, okay, I want to play, place a stop, stop market order. Then you have to select here your stop price. Normally, if you have real-time data, it will show you the best bid and best ask here in this example, or you just type the price. Um, let's say I want to place my stop buy order at $17. Then I just need to select the duration of the trade. Um, day means it's only available for today. I don't think American Airlines will go above uh, $17. But if you want to have it also valid for the next days, um, then just place it as GTC, good till cancel, then it will be um, maximum 90 days available. You will see it also here if you check on this small clock symbol. And then the last thing, just click to submit and you will see the order in, uh, we have to scroll down first. And then accept and continue. Here you see exactly how much margin or how much um, you need, what is the commission, um, what's the amount, what you are um, placing here. All these information you will find here. You go override and transmit. It's very important for the beginning to have this information as well. You see the order will be cancelled on the 31st of uh, March. It must be exactly this $90 what I told you. And then here in your activity window, um, it should be also in the standard mosaic version, you find this order, uh, American Airline buy stop with the price at $17. And 
I can even cancel it here. I can um, change it if I say, okay, stop was maybe not so good. Um, I select the limit order, I change the price. And then at the end, you might not see it here, there's a button for update the order, but I can also make this screen a little bit bigger for you. So here you see, um, let's see, I want to change this to another price, $16.97. Just click here on update, you can change quantity. And if you don't see anything uh, or everything what you need, for example, liberation is not included, then you can always go here to the configuration button where you include also the quant and the quantity, the duration of your um, order, which you can change also there from day to GTC. Or if you want to have a pre market execution, what is not possible for a stop order, but for a limit order, then you can also change it there. I can show you this. Let's change the limit price. Let's say we want to buy it to for $12 or 13 and like I said we can just have a look here on this config configuration where you have all the things available there's time and force and time and force you can add these apply and ok and you can see here this GTZ our duration of um, the order if I click here, you will see I can also allow pre-open or allow outside regular trading hours, what means uh, post-market. So this is quite convenient to do this here in the activity window and um, have an overview of all your trades, of all your open um, orders, of all orders what might be already filled, like my bull spread for Apple here, for example, it's already filled. You can see also all the trades. You have here really an overview of everything what you need before you close your trader workstation. So this is also on the new window. And then you will find it here with the... Um, one second, it's here under order management. And then you have your orders, trades, trade summary there should be everything um, included. So the most important thing for the beginning is, I think the pretty easiest way to use a mosaic version, like you have it here with your own stocks, with your own favorites, you can create your own watch list. This is all linked to each other. This is for order entry. This is the chart, um, if you want to have five minutes or anything else. And you can even see now my order here in the chart itself. I can even click here and change the price here. It's really Pretty easy, you just have to find the right way in the beginning how to place an order um, and then you can change it in your chart, you can change it in your activity window. There are many different ways and I recommend always in the beginning this way here with the order entry window. And the last thing what I want to show you is um, the advanced order things. Um, you can also attach an OCO order on your entry order. You can even change this in destination when you want to have your order executed in a, on a special exchange or with a special market maker instead of smart. You can change this here um, and there are some other things uh, which are all also available here um, just to add a stop loss or profit target for example after your, um, your entry order will be executed. So advanced, I think for the beginning it's not so important. I think it's just important to understand what you see here, how you can change this and um, what is possible here um, in the activity window to, window to cancel orders. And uh, that's the beginning, that's the easiest way. Um, try to do it in the mosaic version. If you use classic version, you can do it in a similar way. You just have to select the right um, things here. And as I said, uh, there are many other ways um, to place an order. We can do it with a book trader. We can do it directly in the chart. You can just right click on a symbol uh, to place an order. There are, I think, minimum 10 different ways um, to place orders here. Um, for the beginning, I recommend in the TWS this as the easiest way to place the order you want to have. And if you don't want to miss any of our next videos, please subscribe here to our channel. I will be happy to uh, welcome you to the next videos as well. And um, I would uh, wish you a good day and uh, see you soon. Thank you.